Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Welcome to Hicks Nurseries. This is our 23rd annual flower and garden show, our 160th year in business, and we have titled the show A World of Possibilities this year. The idea really was to um, take different locales around the world and show you how you could use plants um, to make that part of the world look like it's in your backyard. We have an English country garden that would show you foxglove, and hydrangeas and really how you could put that all together to get that English country garden look. Um, our African garden, um, you would really use house plants and tropical plants to use orchids and spathophyllum to really make uh, that, that whole look of Africa come to life. Well, I'm Irish, so the Irish garden really just speaks to me. It's green, um, there's beautiful white flowers throughout the garden, there's a gorgeous koi pond and a Celtic cross right in the middle of the pond and that just melts my heart. You gain these ideas now, you probably take a few pictures and whether you do it in a small pot in front of the house or if you take over the whole backyard um, with ideas that you find at this show, I think every person who walks through our doors learn something while they're here. You have to work with what's given to you. So you need to know your own backyard. You need to study it a little bit. You want to know what kind of sunlight you have, what kind of soil drainage you have. Um, a lot of times you don't really know how to answer those questions, but that's okay. Bring in as much information to us as possible and we'll help you, you get going. And as long as you have the conditions that can match one of the gardens that you see, it'll be actually be quite easy. It's actually, it becomes difficult when you're trying to put something in a situation where it's just set up to fail. We have the Italian garden, which blends a beautiful um, mix of both sculptured plants um, to show off uh, some pruning techniques, as well as a lot of fruits and vegetables for, for growing, for cooking. Um, so I, that's one of my favorites. Behind me we have America's Backyard. So we have a beautiful patio, fireplace, um, beautiful screen situation so you have some privacy while sitting. And then it's surrounded by a beautiful garden. In this particular garden we're seeing a lot of plants that do have more of a, uh, a tropical feel to them. So it would be a, a warmer part of America's uh, great landscape. But it is a big country so I think that's okay. I had a connection with the Asian garden because I had a, a, I traveled to China this summer so I really wanted to, you know, I felt like I knew a lot about it after that, but I wanted to uh, include what I felt was inspiring from, from that trip and that I thought our community would like to see. We've got a Zen garden that is, you know, really important in having the balance of something that is uh, you know, quiet and full of contemplation where, and then of course you've got these amazing blue cedar trees that we used and uh, the awesome statuary that we, we have here that you can incorporate in your garden. I love that, the natural organicness of it. The first question I had when I came into work today was, what are we gonna do next year? So we do kind of start thinking about it a year in advance. Uh, the actual making of the props and and the things that go into it, are it's about a two or three month process. And spe specifically a month process, uh, the last month is a push for it, but the trees and the flowers and all of that in terms of forcing them to get them to all bloom at once to make this amazing scene, start a year ago. 